Hello friends, family and other creatures of the sea and welcome to a game from the GSL between Maru here in the top right spawning on Alcyone versus TY in the bottom left as our red Terran. Now I haven't actually been capable of catching any of the GSL games which makes me pretty sad. I was too busy with my own tournaments <clears throat> so I'm kind of playing catch up over here. This was one of the maps uh, in particular that got recommended. I heard that Creator versus Shin was quite good as well so i might be doing that depending on uh, what other replays hit my inbox in the next few days for now terran versus terran it's not often that i do terran versus terrans i actually pretty much completely stopped doing tvts unless they're being recommended to me because very often i found tvts to be i don't really want to call them boring but very similar in execution um, where and, and and with my lack of understanding not kind of understanding the the nuances of the matchup it, it felt like um yeah, it, a lot of good stuff was going kind of to waste on me. And then if I had a different replay ready, I'd much rather do that. So TVT is a matchup where it's very detail-oriented in the first six, seven minutes. And it is difficult as a non-extremely high-level player in the current meta to understand every little detail, to, to understand all the movements that players are making, especially because this matchup has had such a shake-up with the Cyclones recently. Um, twice basically uh, first time with the cyclone when it was really powerful and now with the cyclone being nerfed a little bit <clears throat> and i don't quite know what the the place of the cyclone is currently in the meta I, I don't know how likely we are to see it we see maru opening up with an insane build here a terran versus zerk-esque opener triple cc off of a single gas this is a a build order that if it exists, probably shouldn't, because this is insanely greedy. This is some of the sickest greed that I've personally seen in my entire life. Uh, we see TY opening up, uh, well, at least with slightly faster aggression out on the map. Still open up with a, a one gas expand, so still going to be a, a little bit late here on everything. I think this was one gas expand at least. Yeah, I believe so. Feels about correct. Starport just now goes down. Reaper plus Hellion make their way across the map. Are going to get a couple of kills here on the workers. Two SEVs going down so far. Third one's going to fall as well. And that potentially is going to uh, put Mario on the back foot by quite a bit. The third CC is not going to get spotted. Cyclone now out. C uh, Banshee on the way with the cloak as well. We have a mine follow up. This is not something I'm super familiar with. Mines as a unit to be built from the factory. We, I think we hardly ever see that. I, I guess they serve a purpose to, to deal with cyclones, maybe. Or yeah, with marine move outs. You can get a shot off, which I guess is nice. Third CC now on the way here for TY. Even in workers, first Benji making its way across the map. What do we have defensively here for Maru is the real question. It's going to be a cyclone. Uh, a boatload of marines and then potentially a raven here yeah it's going to be a raven out of this as well as the interference matrix double gas is coming down for ty which tends to indicate mech ty also a player that originally is one of the og mechers you know and really making mech work even in the terran versus protos matchup back in the day we've seen him play it so it wouldn't completely surprise me you know, they say once a mecher, always a mecher. And indeed, we're going to get a second factory as our uh, second production structure of anything does indicate mech. Banshee's going to move in here. Going to deal some damage. I'm feeling a four worker kill here. Maru pretty slow with the response. It's going to be three workers initially. Scan. And on top of that, the Banshee escaping, which is actually kind of a big deal. I'm not going to lie about that. I think two barracks just got cancelled. I wonder if this is an accident. This feels like a mistake. I think this was an accidental cancel here out of Maru. Because he's rebuilding them again. No, he's going for a mech. He's switching it up. This wasn't a mistake. He says, hey, I just lost eight workers to two banshees. My position doesn't feel great. I want to play mech versus mech versus you. Because I, I don't feel comfortable playing bio against your mech if I'm behind. I think that is the logic behind it. We now have Vikings on the way already here for TY, who doesn't have a single Raven. That could be an issue. Has control of the Watchtower, though. Has control of the Watchtower. Maru's taking it back. 
or not really taking it back, as Maru never had it, but he's taking it. He's taking the Watchtower control. Both players add, honestly, relatively low worker count. 11 workers gone down on the side of Maru, and Maru is still up two workers here. Army-wise, what are we looking at? <clears throat> Four tanks on the side of TY. Two Vikings, which is good, versus just the two tanks on the other side. We have uh, superior production, or at least superior active production. Two factories. Now we're going to have two factories here as well. The starboard's going to be pumping, I guess, Vikings as well on the other side. What the hell is this? Oh, he's two starboard already. I didn't even notice that. My apologies. Oh, wow. This is the hurricane engines for the cyclone. So the speed upgrade for the cyclones. So Maru here is playing a game of air dominance. So far, air dominance, of course, uh, belongs to TY. But with double star ports, one port producing ravens could be big. It's going to swap it up. It already has four ravens, as the rest of it is just going to be Vikings. Now we have two more starports coming in on the side of TY. So we're going for kind of a, a weird mass air battle. But I think neither player being aware of the fact that the other player is going for that mass air style. So both of them... Okay. Oh, this is a miscan as well. Look at that. He's not going to get the info on the starports as they're being hidden. Maru believes he's going to be the one with the better air production. In reality, that's not going to be the case at all. Double armory is now coming down on the side of Maru. We have... I think a single armory, yeah, over here on the side of TY, who is building an eBay as well as a fort base. Fort base also coming down for Maru. Maru always finding ways to, to get out on the map. Well, it doesn't feel necessarily that he's had such a great time, you know? It doesn't feel like he should be the one with the map control. Well, perhaps that is a little bit stylistic as well of TY just kind of sitting back on this very heavy tank count. Two more tech labs coming in. So this is going to be Ravens as well here. So Viking Raven versus Viking Raven. Maru's Ravens are just going to have a lot more energy. TY still in the Viking lead though. Has been uh, consistently pumping them two at a time. And is now rotating towards the left side to try and uh, establish a fourth here on the 9 o'clock base. This has been a, a much different game than I've seen in a long, long time in this matchup. Majority of the time, we just get the marine tanks. So we almost never get mech. And if we do get mech, it's almost always mech versus bio. Now we get mech versus mech. And within that sub-faction, uh, we also get the air Terran style, which is even rarer than regular mech. So this is... Uh, it is yeah, at least a, a unique game. Fusion core now coming down. Starport being added. So it's going to go up to 3 versus 3. Second armory coming in for TY. It's both players just kind of uh, floating around with their air army. Two more ravens on the way for, uh, for TY. It's going to pump that up to 4. 13 to 12. 4 to 5. They're really close in unit counts. TY decides to add two more starports here. I bet that's going to be just purely for reactors. That's kind of what I would figure. Battle cruisers. Out of Maru. Huh. Now my... <sighs> my understanding of this matchup could be wrong, but... To me, the battle cruiser doesn't make a whole lot of sense. We need to hold that thought. Here comes a fight. Auto turrets being dropped on the floor. I think TY was quicker there with some of these auto turrets. But does the speed matter? Uh, Supply is leaning in favor here. Off TY. 14 Vikings. 2 Ravens versus 13 Vikings and 2 Ravens. TY has about 95 workers. What I was going to say about BCs is that... So, wh when I think about the battle cruiser. It is a very heavy supply unit that gets easily taken out by ravens and vikings. You have ravens there and the BCs just aren't that useful. Because of the simple fact that you can interference matrix them. So supply efficient, I think they're not. They, uh, however, do kind of fill a different role as well of a harassment unit. Which is very difficult in air battles. 
Like it contributes a little to the air battle and then it can contribute quite a bit to perhaps harassing side bases and blinking to the different sides, kind of pulling the opponent apart. So TY right now is just setting up like a, a kind of like a turret crawl move here across the map with tanks, aware of the low tank count of his opponent. Although, is that that low? Six tanks. That's significantly lower. It's 11 versus six. Turrets now being taken out. We don't have a Liberator, though, to really push into position, so Interference Matrix is will, will be playing a key role in that. Plus two ship weapons has that started either, by the way, for uh, for her good friend TY, which actually kind of sucks. Tanks here are going to obliterate the tanks of Maru. Get some forward scans. Anti-armor missile gets cast on the Vikings both sides. Here come the BCs. Are just going to get kited a little bit. Viking counts are not even at all. 16 versus 8. As TY pushes in forward. And 12 minutes into the game is uh, looking mighty fine here, may I say. Continuing to kind of expand all over. Crazy, by the way, that this is an orbital command rather than a planetary. A couple of cyclones could actually put in some work or some hellions. Some, some high-speed units to harass that bottom side could be big. BC so far just being used in the army. Confusing and surprising for me. Rotation towards the right as the turret push continues moving in that direction as well. Just have random turrets sprawled around everywhere. Currently a turret count of 13 and we're looking forward to, to seeing that number rise. Ship weapons level 2 now finally start. But that doesn't mean that TY is going to be behind an upgrade. He's also going to be down when it comes to the army supply. Simply due to the fact that his uh, worker count is uh, much higher than his opponent by about 15. Triple BC's out. Triple BC's on the way. I I feel like TY's army is just superior here. Like I, I don't quite understand what the the angle is that, that Maru is looking at with these battle cruisers. He's not using them to harass. He hasn't really managed to Yamato very much either. His position just seems, quite frankly, to be crap. Smart Servals now on the way. It's going to allow these Vikings as well as the uh, Hellions and Helvets to, to morph a little bit quicker. Or Thors to move into their uh, special mode much faster. Two more Starports now on the way for... Uh, what's it called? For Maru. So it's going to be seven Starports versus seven Starports. The turret crawl continues. This is almost more fun than a pop crawl. Almost. So he's, just, he's just occupying the entire map here with the turrets. SCV is now being given up. I think it's a good call. I think that's a great call because you need more army supply. Taking away some of these SCVs is going to be a quick route to that. TY also... The aggressor here with this massive Viking army. I'm so curious what the actual numbers look like at this moment. 22 to 25. 7 Ravens to 2. And there's 6 BCs as well. Tank count seems extremely high. Almost too high, I would say. As in, what is the value of the tanks here? I, I, I don't quite know. Here we go. Anti-armor missile connects. So TY now has a... Perhaps an angle. Teleport towards the bottom side. It's going to take out two tanks for free. I don't think TY man minds that at all. He's going to transition into BCs himself as well. And he says, hey, superior Raven count. Plus superior Viking count. Plus BCs. Would be pretty freaking sweet, wouldn't it? Definitely would be. As uh, these Vikings are all gonna land, now we'll need to lift again. Keeps one down so that the CC can't land once more. Orbital Command does get blasted. 14 workers going down in total, too. The only thing that TY is lacking in this game is the plus three ship weapons upgrade. He has everything else in life. He has the position, he has the mining. Should be mining from this gold, by the way. That would be great for him. Also would love if you tried to saturate this base and start mining from the rich vest. Being Geyser is another command center here. It's going to get taken out. A couple of zoning auto turrets. SEVs now being given up towards the far right side. No, actually, it's not just being given up. This is for turrets and a tank. The, the, a godly combination. An actual SEV rush here on this base. <laughs> Very late into the game. The 16-minute SEV pool. Don't see that every single time.
I feel like Maru is kind of getting outmaneuvered by TY as well. I also much prefer the army comp that TY is working. Just the fact that he has more ravens, I think, is good. Problem here being is that the work count for Maru is so small that his army is going to be much bigger. Ravens going to be taken out by the Viking force. Here we go. More turrets being added in. Probably should have done that a little bit faster, buddy. More and more turrets being constructed. What's the tank out defensively? It's at three. None of those are in position to deal with this crap, though. And every single turret in some trouble. Viking counts not even remotely close. Raven counts, though, very much so in favor here of, uh, of TY. Let's see how useful that's going to be. Raven auto turrets coming down after the interference matrix are being casted on the battle cruisers. Viking numbers, 26 to 18. And the single BC still alive here as well. It feels like Maru is actually going to break through. TY simply with too many workers is going to end up losing this fight as a result. Thors now are being produced. Battlecruiser gets taken out for free. But this right side base has also fallen. Maru actually running out of cash. TY still has a lot of cash in the bank. But does he have the time to spend that cash is the only question that matters. Vikings are the bad path. It is 13 Vikings versus 24. Turrets need to win time. Battlecruiser's moving in forward. One more BC. You can't afford to lose these for free here, TY. Raven goes down. BC doesn't teleport out in time. One, two Vikings. Eh, we'll go down on both sides, I guess. As the Thors now pop on out. And that is going to be... Hello? A game decider, perhaps. Can they get the splash damage? Yes, they get some big hits here. Big, fat hits on those Vikings. But the Viking count currently for... Maru is so much higher that it doesn't even really seem to matter. Could potentially even land these Vikings at this point to deal with the Thor on the ground. More Vikings still in production on both sides. Plus three ship weapons about to finish up finally for TY as well as these battle cruisers will fall. Nine Vikings being built at a time. 113 supply to 147. We have plus one vehicle weapons done as well, by the way, for uh, for TY. He's going to be adding some... Look at this. This is the, the dance between the Starport and the Vikings. Could try to land again. So far, isn't doing that yet. Oh, here we go. BC moving in. No. BC too afraid. Do you get a blink? Yes, I love this blink. I think he should have been doing this earlier when those individual BCs were popping out. Denying some of that mining here on the left side would have been a huge move. The earlier you do it, the better in my mind. As uh, this BC, yes, it's going to end up falling. But it at least forces uh, some mining away. And for now, actually, no attention is really being paid to this. So this is pretty expensive for Maru. Maru is up, though, 30 supply. The question is, is his army going to be powerful enough? I'm not sure if the answer to that is going to be yes. We have a move in forward. Once again, SCVs being pulled. Oh, they're going to come in for a repair. I love this move. That's going to allow him to take out a couple more SEVs here, perhaps. Maybe even try and uh, turn around, clear these Vikings. But there's not quite enough repair for that. 197 supply to 165. So Thors are going to be the kings of the ground. There's not a single tank out on the map. So it's going to be Battlecruiser Viking versus Raven Thor Viking. And in my mind, the Thor Raven Viking army seems to be more well-rounded, more complete synergize as well while well, battlecruiser viking is great against low thor numbers but once we get six seven eight thors i don't really see it happen anymore to be honest i, I really don't it's this uh, cc doing the doing the dance and it's gonna stay alive raven gets taken out thor coming to the rescue is gonna get some big splash hits out here yes these are two big uh, big fat missiles yamato's now hitting the thors Vikings trying to spread out a little bit. Interference Matrix is connecting as well. As it feels to me that with a Viking land, perhaps Maru is going to be capable of at least winning the air fight. Taking out the Thor on the left. No. 17 to 17. Two battle cruisers versus three Thors. I feel like the eco is really the, the thing that matters the most at this point. I do believe that TY is winning that. Because he just... What the hell is this planetary? <laughs> a random freaking planetary over there. One VZ on the left side is taking out a lot of the mining. Uh, TY not actually outmining his opponent by a whole lot. It's actually being outmined by quite a bit. Has more bases and has had more bases secured. Orbital now flying over towards the gold, which is a huge deal. 72 workers to 80. 
this gas is empty. Uh oh, this base scares me with, with how how dry it is. How uh, they get no defense at all. There's no turrets, no tank, no nothing. I guess tanks don't really matter if your opponent only is building Viking Viking uh, battle cruiser. Now we're gonna see a couple of cyclones added into the mix as well. This is such a, f a funny game. It's so 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 weird, so different. Ty definitely in well. Maybe not definitely in the lead, but in the lead. Three Ravens. If they get energy, they're going to put in a lot of work. Like anti-armor is huge there. Uh, interference on any of these PCs is going to be big. Four Cyclones is fun, but... I, I, I don't think that TY is going to be waking up in like a cold sweat. Uh, dreaming about Cyclones or having nightmares about Cyclones. Like tanks could be a problem, but Cyclones... They're nice support at dealing with, with Vikings, but that's about it. More thirds are now coming up for Maru, who's also adding in some uh, some tanks for the first time in a while. Of course, from a distance, here comes a big anti-armor missile as every single Yamato is going to go off. One Thor goes down. Three Thors, however, still pumping away at this mech army of the opponent. And I'd love to see some tanks being added in here as well for TY, and he thinks so too. Adds in two more siege tanks. 184 supply to 160, superior bank, superior income, superior upgrades, as the Thor's once again going ham. Vikings in the sky should be winning this fight as well for TY, I think. 20 Vikings to 30, no, actually gets pushed back. What a confusing matchup. Two Vikings here on the right side are going to be taking out a lot of workers, though. That is a big move because there isn't that much mining anymore. Although the mining mainly is being stopped... I guess by the fact that there's not enough bases, not so much due to undersaturation, because there's a lot of workers not doing a whole lot currently. 76 workers on like two and a half, three mining bases. That should be enough. So he's flying over to this uh, left side once more. <laughs> Every single time I see Vikings land and then a building fly, it makes me so freaking happy. And so yeah, this CC is definitely gonna fall. SCVs couldn't quite repair it enough. More SCVs now going down. Ooh. This is kind of scary because there's no backup. Where are the Thors? I don't see him. He's probably going to need to try and get the safety. He's building a turret, like a zoning turret. Didn't quite work out as it wasn't done yet. 12 and 7 kills, respectively, on these Vikings. Two battle cruiser teleports are going to save him. More SUVs moving towards the right here as well. 14 Vikings, one... Th Actually, the anti-air anti is not so good. Battle cruisers now being added into the mix. We have this constant kind of uh, this weird, um, like fluid movement of the army composition between being like full air Terran and then back to ground and like kind of a hybrid. Battle cruisers, Ravens, Vikings, both players heavily experimenting here with unit compositions. That kind of in real time it feels like neither player entirely sure what is best, and just kind of adding into the mix whenever they feel with whatever they feel comfortable with, which is. Kind of sick. Thirds are not going to finish. That means that these BCs will take this out. <laughs> these turret pushes are so weird. I've never seen that. Like just these mass turret pushes. How many turrets have we had in this game? That's what I really want to know. 33 turrets have fallen already. And we have 19 turrets still on the map. It's more than 50 turrets. Triple BC, once again being used for harass here. Gonna target down the planetary. Maru is not responding with repair. Didn't have any turrets. This base gets given up. At the same time, we have a Viking battlecruiser push here on the bottom side as well. We have triple triple turrets here. Two Hellbats moving forward. This is such an action-packed game for it being mech versus mech. This is an insane units lost step. Insane. It is rare to see more battle cruiser more battle cruisers going down. Than marines in a game, that's for sure. 22 BCs have fallen. I feel like mass BC versus semi mass BC versus Vikings versus Ravens versus Thors. I don't think I've ever seen this many BCs in a TVT either. It does feel though that TY is kind of. Pushing his opponent back here. 
Like slowly but surely. TY is taking bases. Maru is losing bases. Hellbat's definitely helping out as well. Cyclone's looking so freaking weak here, by the way. So freaking weak. Vikings will need to land to deal with this. Are probably gonna end up doing that. I mean, don't, you know, if you wanna fight this, you need to land, buddy. Okay, not gonna be the case. Hate to see it. Viking count 25 to 32. Battlecruiser count 7 to 2. Raven count 2 to 1. Okay, here comes a. What do you call it? A drop. A Viking moving into assault mode. just clear all of this no don't think there's enough ground for it i guess you know, if the tanks come back maybe also let's not forget terran doesn't have recall so that could be pretty scary Ooh, this is not a good fight here for Mario. this is not going to be a good fight loses one bc and a viking kills only a single viking i actually think that these vikings could turn around and kill this entire army if they land right now these tanks are freaking dead maru's playing with fire and he has been playing with fire for a while to be honest Where's these seven BCs that belong to... Uh, okay, there's a couple over here. Some just being uh, reinforcement BCs. Five moving towards the far right. As this army is getting uh, well, severely caught out of position soon the moment these BCs fly in. I, I don't really see a, a proper way here for Maru to, to try and move towards a victory. Because this base now is going to die. If he loses every single worker, that would suck. If he loses the CC, that would suck. And he's definitely going to lose the CC. As long as we get a right click on that. Maru's gonna continue trying to push him forward with a lot of tanks. One orbital command goes down. This orbital command should really also end up falling. There's nothing at all to deal with it. Raven does manage to cast an anti-armor. Anti-armor missile. And here come the Vikings. Ooh, big blink on top of this here with all of these battle cruisers coming in from the back. Neat little flank, and I think that's just going to be it. Simple. TY with a phenomenal late game, really. It was a weird game, and I think this is going to be one of the last times that Maru will attempt a mech versus mech all out Sky Toss War versus uh, TY because he looked phenomenal here. That's going to be it for me today. Indeed, a good TVT. Love to see it. They're rare, but when they're there, they're little pearls, and it's. Uh, Always nice to catch some Terran versus Terran action. That's going to be it for me today. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see all of you next time for a new video. Thanks so much for watching, and bye-bye.